Hi there, I'm Tom Monroe, the Home Inspector. Has your homeowner's insurance agent asked you, how old is your electrical panel? The reason why they ask is, older panels that have breakers or fuses are very hard to find parts for, and they may have had some changes that don't conform to today's standard. Anyone having an electrical panel with fuses or breakers should consider having an upgrade and talking to a licensed electrician for pricing. I'm on an inspection today, and I wanna show you why it is so important to make sure you upgrade your panel because changes that have been made to it may lead to problems that could cause a fire. Let me show you. The electrical panel I'm looking at today is from 1955, making it 60 years old. You see those three cover plates? Those are where breakers used to be, and they've been removed probably because they stopped working. Now when a breaker stops working, it's important to replace it, not take the wires out and connect it to another breaker. If you look closely, that's called double lugging when you got two wires connected to the same breaker. Those wire thicknesses are different. We got a 14 gauge wire and a 12 gauge wire. And when one's under load, it will expand larger and the other wire may pull out causing an arc, which could potentially cause a fire. It is so important to make sure your licensed electrician replaces the breakers and doesn't go the easy route, which is just connected up to the other breaker. This is considered a fire hazard by your insurance company. So the next time you call your homeowner's insurance agent and they ask you how old your electrical panel is, now you know why. If you're living in a home that has fuses or very old breakers, consider having your panel replaced and upgraded to the new electrical code in your area. It makes it a safe place for your family to live. If you have any home-related questions you'd like me to discuss, leave them in the comments below and let's figure them out. I post videos weekly. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, I'm Tom Monroe, The Home Inspector.